Hi Hardies, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during this time. And I just wanted to share a few things that me and my boys and my family are doing to stay happy and sane as we stay inside. Enjoy. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Crispin, shouted his father. Dragons breathe fire! What will the neighbors think? worried his mother. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Twitter. Tornation! Scatterbrain Sam I am and scatterbrain Sam I'll stay, sighed the boy. On my bike. Go, go, gorillas, gotta go, gorillas, go! <laughs> Hi, E.T. Andrea Brooks here from When Calls the Heart. I hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying home during these crazy times. I am currently home in my pajamas and I'm about to make some peanut butter cookies. And I like peanut butter cookies because you don't need a ton of ingredients to make them. You basically only need some sugar, eggs, and peanut butter. Um, anyway, I'm about to preheat my oven and make this happen. I also hope that you guys are tuning in to One Calls the Heart on Sunday nights. I hope it brings a little bit of levity to your life right now. And I hope you're using this time to pick up some new skills. Try baking, cooking, reading, hanging out with friends virtually, not in real life, because we wanna make sure that we're practicing social distancing. It's really important at this time. And I hope you're doing well. Bye. Hi, E.T., it's Paul Green here. Up in the mountains, it's snowing. And just wanted to take a minute to give you a little uh, extra love and say hi during this time and check in on you, see how you're doing. Um, what are you up to during this time? This so quiet, it's kind of nice. No one's uh, asking you to do anything. <laughs> I've been playing my guitar, uh, singing, making fires, um, baking bread. I learned how to bake bread, never done it before. Loving that. Um, and, you know, just counting the days to the next episode of season seven. There's a lot of really big surprises coming. Lots of love and laughter and romance and adventure. All the things that you love about One Calls a Heart. So just taking a minute here to give you um, some love. And uh, we'll see you soon on the small screen, the medium screen. If you're watching on a big screen, we'll see you on the big screen. <laughs> Take care. Be well. Hi ET, it's Kayla Wallace here. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy through this crazy, unpredictable time. Just know that we are all in this together and I'm sending my love out to everybody from here in Canada. So some things I've been doing to keep myself busy while I've been at home, I've been playing my good old piano and writing some music and I've also been cooking. I've been trying out recipes that I've always wanted to try, so that's been a lot of fun. So I'm so excited for you guys to see these next couple episodes of When Calls the Heart. These next few were my favorite to film all season. So tune in every Sunday and tweet with us. We love you. Hey ET, Aaron Buckles here. Uh, I hope everyone's staying safe and uh, staying positive during this time. I know it's kind of crazy for everyone, but we all do our part and we social distance now i think it's gonna help tremendously in the long run and uh we're all in this together guys we're all kind of quarantining ourselves so i think we can all share in that experience i know i'm trying to keep myself busy to keep myself sane so i've been uh, reading some books watching a lot of movies that are on my list catching up on tv um we're also usually filming in november so i never get the opportunity to try and grow a mustache I don't have much of one, you can tell, but I'm trying. And uh, maybe one day I'll be able to grow a luscious full beard like my co-stars Chris McNally and Kevin McGarry. The guy can dream, right? Uh, I'm excited for the rest of the season. We got the wedding coming up. We got some other great storylines. I really think it's the best season yet. So stay tuned, stay safe everyone. Hi ET, Eva Born here from One Calls the Heart. I hope everyone on your end is staying safe and healthy and preoccupied. I know for myself, uh, I have cleaned almost every surface. So 
Now I'm going to be making a mess in the kitchen, baking and doing a little bit of cooking, um, as well as lots of kitty time. I've got a couple monsters here as well. <laughs> Um, I am sending all of my love out to you and I hope while you're hunkering down, <laughs> there's one there, uh, that everyone will tune in to a new episode of One Calls the Heart on Sunday. Sending lots of love to everyone. Bye. Hey ET, Jack Wagner here. Just wanted to share a few things in terms of what I'm doing in my life right now to deal with our uh, situation that we're all dealing with. I'm actually drenched because I just uh, finished uh, some cardio in the little gym I have in my backyard here. I also have, I'm blessed to have a really nice backyard and a, a really nice house here in Southern California. We got a little sun today. And you know, what I'm really working on and I cur encourage you to work on is that I'm, I'm trying to come from a place deep inside of myself that is actually not fear-based, but it is actually a place of calm and a place of love. Those of you who watch the Hallmark Channel, those of you who love When Calls the Heart, you know, we work as a community on the Hallmark Channel. The actors that work on When Calls the Heart, it's a real community. And that's what we feel, especially from our audience. And now this is not just for our audience, but this is just for all of us as a whole. Let's look at this as an opportunity, a real opportunity to unite, to come together in this very loving, calm place we all have within inside of ourselves. And from there, We'll find our solutions. Hi, ET. Kevin Smith here, Leland Coulter from When Calls the Heart. I'm hunkered down in my house with uh, my wife and kids, trying to do our part and trying to keep the kids from crawling up the walls. Luckily, we have a trampoline. They're spending an awful lot of time on the trampoline. My wife and I are doing a lot of cooking. Uh, I'm doing a roast right now. Um, grew a beard just because uh, why shave? Um, also doing a lot of projects around the house, built some shelves today, which is something. My wife wanted me to garden, but no, gotta draw the line somewhere, I don't garden, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, but really, all things being said, I just, I can't complain. You know, with everything that's going on in the world right now, just trying to stay safe, trying to do our part. Hope everybody out there does what they can. Be good to everyone. Yeah. Treat people well, be safe, and uh, with any luck, this thing will pass us by and we can get on with our lives. ET, it's Chris McNally saying hi. I hope you're all doing all right. I know times can be tough right now. I wanna share a recipe with you. It's super simple. It's a cocktail recipe. It's a classic margarita. Um, really easy to make at home. All you need is a lime. <laughs> Whoops. One lime, uh, an ounce of lime juice that is. And then simple syrup, which I made at home, which is just equal parts sugar and water. And then, normally you would use tequila, but I'm gonna experiment with this uh, mezcal so I get a little bit more of a smoky kind of flavor to my margarita. And then I've got some salt, which I just put on a plate. And you just rim your glass like that. So, I'm gonna do this ounce of lime juice, squeeze it right in here. There we go, one half done. Throw that over there. Chase that this way here. Second half of the lime juice. Normally I'd measure it up, but feeling a little risky today. Then we do an ounce of this simple syrup. So one and one simple syrup and lime juice, and then two ounces of tequila, or in this case, mezcal. And that's it. While you're listening to The Wall album by Pink Floyd, because it's a good one. Ice, bam, in there. Excellent. And then we're just gonna strain in here like this, and I'm gonna add some fresh ice, but you can do a dirty dump, which is when you just let everything go inside the glass, but fresh ice will last a little bit longer. All over the counter. Here we go. Mezcal margarita. Cheers, hope everyone's staying safe.